If you have the new M4 iPad Pro and you want to run DaVinci Resolve on the iPad and you render your video and somehow it crashes, what can you do? I got this question here on my YouTube channel from Stefan and he basically talk, talked about this and he was asking about it. He has an M4 iPad Pro. What can he do? He has 4K videos with 30 frames from his Osmo Pocket 3 in 24 frames blah, 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 and somehow it crashes. So what can you do? By the way, I'm Daniel, and this channel is all about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. If you're new to the channel, hit like, subscribe, and stuff like that. Anyway, let's talk about this question and what you can do, because it's not that simple that it's exactly always that one reason. So first of all, is it about the M4, or like, is it crashing because of the M4? I don't think so, because I think I would have heard from more sources that the M4 is more unstable. But it could be. I want to point, point this out as the number one reason. It could be that when the next update comes, also DaVinci Resolve 19, when it's finally out of beta, because people are also asking me, like, when do you know when it's coming out? I don't know when it's coming out. It will come out when DaVinci Resolve 19 is also available out of beta. Since we have now DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, every time when they've released a new version, officially, not beta, then we also got it on the iPad. And that's the cool thing about DaVinci Resolve. And it could be that they are also working on the back end about a couple of things to make it sure to make sure that it works on the M4 iPad and stuff like that. Because there will be a couple of interesting things. Like for example, the new microcontroller uh, for color that they announced. It only works with the version 19. So at the moment, if you have that one, you can't even use it. At least this is what I hear. You can't even use it. I'm still waiting for mine because I'm in Europe. So let's see. I hope it doesn't take too long. Anyway, I want to explain now the thought process, what I do when I have a video like this. Let's say, for example, here in DaVinci Resolve, and somehow when I render this video, it doesn't work. The very first thing you should always do is just restart. And I'm not just saying about DaVinci. Sometimes it just works if you restart DaVinci. That's fine. Sometimes you have to restart the Apple device. So just longer press here, I think, on uh, the turn off and the volume button, and then you can say restart and stuff like that, or look it up, whatever it is on your iPad. But it, I think it's, it's also the newer one like this. Anyway, the reason why I talk about this like this, obviously it's like this, but the thing is, maybe you watch this video in three years and we, who knows what they will do. Maybe you unlock it now completely different, right? So make sure you unlock it however you unlock. Uh, why are you saying unlock? restart. Sometimes it helps. It sounds so stupid, but you don't, you, will, you would be surprised even on Mac. Like two days ago, I was helping a guy out here in the co-working and there was some issues on his MacBook Air and we just had to restart everything and then it worked. I didn't change any th settings. So sometimes those devices just go like crazy, you know, and then we restart. So, but now what can you actually do? Most of the time when the rendering is crashing and it doesn't work. It has to do with something in the timeline. So if I look at this timeline, nothing is crashing here, but let's say I would have here transitions and other effects. Maybe some of them is causing the issue. And to pinpoint that, if you have a longer timeline, what I like to do is, first of all, so he, in this comment, for example, he talked about that he has the Osmo Pocket 3 with 4K 30 frames. Maybe the Osmo Pocket 3, I don't know because I don't shoot on the Osmo Pocket, has a specific codec. So the first test I would do is I would actually come in here and create a complete new project whatever, test, and now bring one video clip from the Osmo Pocket or whatever camera you use in here, into the timeline, and try if you can render. After restart, of course. You restart it, and then you do this, and then when you render, if you still have the issue, sometimes, so the reason why we do this, we want to make sure that the codec you're using, the video, is actually working also here on the iPad. If that crashes already, you don't even, you don't even have to go back to your other timeline, because now you know, oh, this kind of format, codec, whatever, doesn't work. What can you do in this situation? If that is the problem, like for example, I know that some of the older GoPros had a very hard codec that they used, the compression and everything. Like usually most softwares can use and work with it, but what you can do is you have to convert this one video file to another one. Uh, unfortunately, I always do this with my Mac. Um, I have an app that is free, it's called Handbrake which can convert any kind of video format into any other type. So look it up. If you only have an iPad, I don't know why out of my head one that uh, it works with most video codecs. I would probably just do it on the Mac. But maybe in the comments, let me know if you know a good program here on the iPad that can convert almost any codec and video format into another one. Let me know in the comments and then we can put this here to the description then you can look into the description but for now i don't really know maybe it's not even the the reason now uh the most important so let's assume you did the first test and you put it in and it works 
So that means that your videos are supported and DaVinci Resolve can actually render it. Then I would do the next step. I would actually go back to the old, I would actually go back here to this one. And what you can do is now, you could actually select everything, right? If you have a keyboard, Command A, or for example, you bring the playhead here in the cut page and then you longer press, select everything to the right and copy now everything. So I copy everything. Oops, I cut everything. No, no, again, copy everything. And now I create a new timeline again, just a test. And I will bring in, I will create here a new timeline, create new timeline, make sure all of your settings are correct. My project settings are the ones I usually use. So I come in here into this, I come into this timeline. Now I hit paste and I have the timeline now in here as well. And now I test rendering. So sometimes it's also important to make sure that you have in points and out points. So I put this in and then I render. If it now works, then just keep working on that timeline. It could be the solution. If it still doesn't render, that means we have something here in our timeline that doesn't work. And the way you can now work with this is, so let's say for example, I go at the, to the beginning until here in an out point and I try to render this. If this works, that means this part, he doesn't have any issues. Then I will do the same again here in the middle part, do this, render it, and if that works, oh yeah, perfect. And then maybe I do the end part and then it doesn't work. Then I know something in this area is not correct. And what it could be, let's say, for example, if this would be a transition, sometimes it doesn't mean that he can't do the transitions. What I had in the past, but very rarely, is that I sometimes just had to delete the transition, place it again, it worked, or just move it a bit and then it worked. Don't ask me why. Sometimes we have those kind of issues, but the reason why I make this video today is to show you that the process that I do as well is pinpointing, elimination process. I wanna try and find where is the reason, why is it crashing? Because there has to be a reason why it crashes, because most of the time it should work. But I could be completely off. I think it's still valuable what I talked about in this video. What I mean, I could be completely off and the M4 just sucks. Let me know in the description if you have an M4 iPad Pro and it sucks with DaVinci Resolve because you can't do anything. It could be, right? But I don't think so because a couple of, uh, also the followers and people here in the community, I know from Chris, for example, he has an M4 iPad Pro and he didn't told me too many times now that like he doesn't even, like I don't remember that he said it doesn't work at all. So I would say it still works the same and the idea that I have behind that is you know when Apple Silicon came out if you make a program now that is for the iPad you write the code and it works on the M1 it's very likely that it also works on M2 M3 or M4 because the architecture the structure is still the same but anyway I could be wrong I'm not in program at all but that's it for this video today. I just wanted to make sure that this is the process that I do if you run into those kind of issues test this out and then let me know in the comments if that helps or what you do. Maybe you'll find out a better way to pinpoint this. Maybe you know more about DaVinci. Because, I mean, there could be issues, right? Sorry for that. So, we see us in the next video. I'm Daniel. Bye.